Hello and welcome to a new video about measurements. Last time we talked about the static behavior of measurements. This time we want to go a little bit, we want to, to talk about the characteristic a little bit more in detail. I said, okay, there's a characteristic uh, the, which uh, can describe the static behavior between the input and the output value and so on. And ideal, in ideal world, this would be a linear characteristic and so on. And today we want to look, even in ideal world, we do have different possibilities, all right? So the most, the most logical one. Uh, here again, I have drawn this 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 uh, uh, characteristics. Okay. So actually, what what I have drawn into. So there is an input. This is the value. And there's an output. There's the display. So there's an there's a measurement range and there's a display range. And if they are connected like that, that there's a linear characteristic going from zero to max, yeah, like that, yeah, should be linear. Yeah. Then this is the most logical way. Yeah? If we have zero input, we have zero output. If we have half input, we have half output. If we have full out input, we have full output. So linear behavior, this actually means this is a linear characteristic through zero. Okay, so this is linear through zero. Right? And in this case, yeah, the output XO equals the k yeah, multiplied by the input xi. Yeah. This is the this is the equation of this yeah. linear equation. We go into through zero, so this means no offset, and there's just and and the sensitivity is always like k. Yeah. Everywhere is the same sensitivity. I mean, it's very obvious. Yeah. Typical examples. Yeah, Typical examples are here in the in the output range would be for instance zero to twenty milliamps. Uh, so here's zero milliamps, here's twenty milliamps, or zero to ten volts if it's a current signal, voltage signals. Okay, zero to ten volts, zero to twenty milliamps. These are typical examples. Then there's also the possibility which looks like that, eh? linear, but here we start at a certain position already and going up. Eh? So here we have an offset here. Eh? This is XO min 2, eh? the second. Eh? What's that? I mean, this is the sensitivity is less uh, because k is less. It's always the same. Uh, however, if we have zero measurement, we already have an output. Okay. So if there is zero measurement, the output is already alive. And this is why it's called life zero. Linear life zero. Okay. The equation yeah, XO equals, then we also have a K multiplied by XI. Yeah. However, we do have an offset plus, I will call it D2 yeah, because it's the second line. So this is. D2, XO, min2, it's the same. Huh? What, I mean, <laughs> why? Huh? Well, one reason is that you can check your wiring. Okay? So even if you measure nothing, yeah, the measurement is completely gone. Yeah? You should receive something from your measurement. 
and if you not, then maybe there's a wire break. Yeah? So this is already self-checking uh, signal. Okay, and then there might be sensors out there which do need power supply. Okay? Then this range, yeah? if I am already putting out some some value here, yeah? this can be used to power something. Yeah? Typical examples. Typical examples are. Four to twenty milliamps. Uh, so here's four milliamps, and here's twenty milliamps. If I have no measurement at all, I have four milliamps. If I have maximum measurement, I have maximum measurement. Okay, four to twenty milliamps. There, this is the signal. All right. I am not sure if I'm already mentioned it, but four to twenty milliamps is. In, 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 in real world application, this is the signal. It's not just a signal, it's the signal. Most of the applications use this 4 to 20 milliamps. Eh? Current signal cannot be disturbed to, and it's live zero, you can check your wiring. Eh? And also, live zero to 2 to 10 volts also would be a live zero signal. All right. And then we have the other way around. We're starting here somewhere, going up. Should also be linear, not exactly what I've drawn. Here we have x o min 3. This here is D3, okay, and here we have Xi min 3. What, are this, what does this mean? This means the way to get an output of this, yeah? to get an output of this, the value must already have reached this level. Huh? So the, 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 the value is not starting at zero, the value is starting at a minimum. Yeah, and then we start to display something. Yeah? This is called suppressed zero. Okay, linear suppressed zero. I'm not entirely sure if I wrote suppressed correct. I will look it up afterwards. Linear through zero. We'll also underline this because then it looks a little bit more. Looks better. I like it. Suppressed zero. Uh, the output, like so, is also some gain factor multiplied by the input value. Uh, and here I have minus d2. Right? Because this offset is simply negative. So what actually what I have here is that we have no output here and here we have output. And in the remaining area of my input range, the, the, it's more sensitive. So the sensitivity is higher. However, I only can see a part of the input. This is often you have such type of, of curve without even noticing. Yeah? So, for instance, a temperature measurement. You hardly start temperature measurements at absolute zero, minus 273 dot whatever degrees Celsius, absolute zero. No, you start at, I don't know, minus 20 and you go up to plus 40. So, so this, this would be absolute zero and you start somewhere here. Yeah? So you start already at 250 Kelvin, all right, and end at, I don't know, 350 Kelvin. Yeah? You're not starting at zero Kelvin. Or, for instance, a level measurement at a, some lake in the, in the mountains. Yeah? 
you 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 don't start at at, at sea level. Yeah, it's in the mountains. It, 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 it if you if it is fully empty, the ground will be at I don't know two thousand eight hundred meter sea level. Yeah, there is no sense to start from zero. Yeah, I start at two thousand three hundred because then the lake is already empty and the two thousand three hundred eighty it's eighty meters filled. Yeah, so you, you know what I mean. Yeah, this. Often you have this type of, of, of line yeah, without even noticing. Okay. Type of characteristics. Now there is a, it sounds now like a taxative list or something like this. However, there might also be the case that I measure, I don't know, from what if 2800 from 2800 to 2830 and use 4 to 20 millions then it's some so, uh, somehow in a combination between live zero and suppressed zero it would also be possible okay so these are the type of characteristics we usually have huh? still static behavior huh? Next time we're going to talk talk about uh, the dynamic, um, dynamic behavior. Now uh, see my, my lips were moving, but uh, it was not dynamic enough to get out the right words. <laughs> dynamic behavior. That's a, absolutely what it is about. Uh, if our measurement system can display things which are changing, uh, we'll have a look at this in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.